population and related problems in India. Introduction As far as geneticists are concerned, a population is group of interbreeding or potentially interbreeding individuals. Population grows and also becomes smaller at various rates. They may be relatively stable for a long period of time. They may grow rapidly or slowly or they may become extinct. Such growth can be expressed mathematically. Population growth is affected by a wide variety of factors and as a result, the maximum possible rate of growth is rarely achieved. Rising population, a global threat. Today, we hear a lot about population problem in the developing countries including India. All the media of mass communication, that is radio, television, stage, press, etc. are trying their best to educate people about the grave dangers of rising population. It is becoming a serious threat, not for any one country in particular, but for the world as a whole. Human Population Through Ages Introduction Scientific study of human population is called demography. Growth of human population was never uniform. It is characterized by sudden spurts associated with changes in the lifestyle. The total period of human existence reflects the following three spurts called revolutions. Toolmaking revolution, agricultural revolution, scientific and industrial revolution. Revolution in human life. He started living in settled communities in primitive huts. He had started domesticating animals, dog being the first. He learned to sow crops and store food. This was the beginning of agriculture. His primitive stone tools and weapons were now gradually replaced by those of bronze and iron. He had thus stepped into the Metal Age. As a result of all the above progress, the human population began to grow faster. Toolmaking Revolution It is estimated that the total world population between 50,000 to 40,000 years ago was around 1 million. Man lived by hunting and gathering food in the jungle. He made his tools of stone, bone or stick. Meanwhile, he started living in groups and used his intellect in hunting large animals like mammoths. By that time, he had improved his tools which were still mainly of stones. This period of human evolution is called the Stone Age. Agricultural Revolution about 10,000 years ago, the total world population had reached 5.3 million. Again a revolution took place in the human way of living. He started living in settled communities in primitive huts. He learned to plant crops, grow and store food. Gradually, the stone tools were replaced by those of metal, that is copper and bronze. Hence, this period of human existence is called Metal Age. This was the beginning of agricultural revolution. Once agriculture became the source of his livelihood, man was no longer at the mercy of nature. This led to a rapid growth in human population. Scientific Revolution The next upsurge in population growth came with the scientific an industrial revolution which began in the 17th century. Great industrial advancements made human life more and more comfortable with greater opportunities of job and more production of food. Medical advancement in the 20th century that is 1901 to 2000 helped eradicate many diseases and also prevented and cured others. 
This resulted in a sharp reduction in the number of deaths of all age groups, especially the infants and the old. This resulted in the world population to exceed the 6 billion mark by the year 2000. Population Explosion A Global Concern According to demographers, about one-third of the total population of all the people who have ever lived on Earth are alive today is termed as population explosion that began in the middle of the 19th century. Two-thirds of the present world population belong to the developing nations where more than half the people live below poverty line. India and China make one-third of the total world population. This figure represents the profile of human population growth in the world from the earliest times, particularly during the last 12,000 years. In earlier years, the human population remained fairly constant. Reasons for rise in population Number 1. Better health care for all age groups. There are more health care centers, hospitals, and practicing doctors available for help. Number 2. Fewer deaths due to better medical aid. This is for two reasons. There are regular vaccination programs. Many diseases have been controlled or even wiped out. And secondly, more patients get cured and live longer. Number three, food shortages minimized and green revolution. More food is produced and stored. There are very few starvation deaths. Number four, improved nutrition due to consciousness, especially for growing children. They keep healthy, suffer less from diseases and live longer. Number 5. Large-scale immunization against fetal diseases. Number 6. Fewer infant deaths. In older times, an average family used to get 4 to 6 children out of which one or more would not survive due to certain diseases. Today, most newborn babies survive due to better health care. Maternity homes provide safety for both the child as well as the mother. Terms related to population Demography The scientific study of human population covering all aspects and parameters is called demography. It involves the study of number, growth trends, natality, mortality, sex ratio, age groups, status, and also the future development of human population. The study of population is carried out through census. It is taken every 10 years. In India, census was taken in 1971, 1981, 1991, 2001, and 2011. Population density. Population density is the number of individuals per square kilometer, that is kilometer square, at any given time. It is calculated by the formula D is equal to N upon S, where D is density of population, N is equal to number of individuals, and S is equal to unit of space. Cities. And towns have a greater population density than rural areas. According to 2011 census in India, West Bengal has the maximum population density, while Arunachal Pradesh has the lowest population density. Birth rate. Natality or birth rate is the number of live births per thousand individuals of a population per year. It increases the population size and population density. For example, if there are 360 live births in a population of 30,000, the birth rate would be 360 divided by 30, that is 12. 
in a family, the birth rate of a child increases the family size. Death rate and growth rate. Mortality or death rate is the number of deaths per 1000 individuals of a population per year. It decreases the population size and density of the area. Growth rate of a population is the number of individuals added per thousand in a given time. It is represented by the growth curve of a population. When birth rate exceeds death rate, the growth rate is positive and population increases in size. When birth rate is lower than the death rate, the population size declines. In India, the birth and death ratio in 1901 was 46 is to 44 and in 1973 it was 37 is to 14. During 20th century, the death rate has fallen steeply because of better medical facilities. The current rate of growth of human population is about 2.07% as recorded in the year 2006. Growth Curves Population growth curve is obtained by plotting number of individuals against time. Depending on the environmental resistance, population may exhibit either of the two growth curves. First is J-shaped growth curve. When the number of births exceeds the number of deaths, the population shows an increase. On plotting against time, the growth curve assumes the shape of letter J and is termed as J-shaped growth curve. It is obtained in a population growing in ideal conditions. J-shaped growth curve represents exponential growth in a population. Next is S-shaped growth curve. The S-shaped growth curve is obtained when the population first grows slowly. Later, as the species establishes itself, it grows rapidly. In the end, due to environmental resistance, its growth fluctuates within a narrow range and it shows the maximum size of the population that the environment can sustain or carry. 